Hey guys, Oki Sanchia, came with some more last talk, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the adventure term and why you should do it and what it's for, and most importantly, how to complete it really, really easily using a trusty guide of, that I have from Max Roll. It's really interactive and really easy to help you understand it. And we're going to just go through all of that together and I'll show you guys all about it. To bring up the adventure term, you press N, and then this is your adventure term. You choose the continent up there. Rethromus is the one that I'm going to show you guys today. That's the very first zone you will unlock. And now there is, see there's a percent base over there. Every 10% that you go up, you get a reward. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so onwards up until 100. And the Ignea token is actually one of the main sources why we are doing this. But there's a lot of other stuff during it as well. Pretty much on every continent. Something very nice that you can achieve by at least getting 50 to say 70. I think there's a lot of skill potions behind 70 as well. So you want to do this. And there everywhere there's the charisma potion. So that ties into your report as well. I have a video up about that. Go check it out on my channel. And your virtue stats are really important in the end game. And for the adventure terms itself. You actually need to complete the report on this continent. So to actually 100% Rethromus. We need to get trusted with two of the characters. If you scroll over to report. You can actually see which two you need. And yeah. So doing that is the main reason of. Yeah I came here for the charisma potion. But. Since I started making this guide today, I thought I might as well start finishing it up myself and actually work on my adventure term because mine is quite lacking as well. So that's where we are today. So how this all works, that's the percent over there. And then doing these, actually completing all of these gives you percent towards unlocking the 100%. You do need to complete everything to actually get 100%. But let's talk about this. So the main quest, that's a no-brainer that will complete itself just by you playing through the game. And the collectibles, these I would actually suggest doing very last because these drop from all the monsters that you do kill while doing stuff in this place and also going to all these different places and these dungeons for example. You will get a lot of the collectible stuff to drop. If you scroll over one you can actually see it's not just get one and then it's done, one and done. You actually need 10 of these teeth. I actually have that and I haven't bought any of these before. I haven't bought any of these collectibles yet. But how you do this, so I would suggest doing the Vistas very first. This is the easiest ones to get. You literally just go to them, complete them. And let me bring up the max roll guide for you guys. So let's let's have a look through here. So you start out, and this is one for every single zone. So this is like an adventure time guide for every single zone out there in the game. You just come up to the resources on the top here, and then you scroll over to the left, adventure terms. There is for every single area. The very nice thing of here, so it'll show you actually what you get for your rewards. And then this is the very first map, Pride Home. It's where we are in game now. It's the very first little town you'll come to in the game. And then it's a very nice little map. It shows you how many Makoko seeds. So you might as well pick those up at the same time while you're doing it. And then these little points here are all tied into your adventure term. So this has got to do with cooking. And then as well, the map legend over here is very important. So we are on Pride Home right now, but you can switch between all the different maps at once. And I would suggest just doing these from the top to the bottom. Because there's actually ones for the dungeons as well. And in the dungeons there's stuff that you want to get. Like Makoko Seeds and then these two rare monsters we have for completing an adventure term as well. So you don't want to just run to the dungeon and run through it yourself. Just go through them all one by one on the map. And it will easily get you to 100% completion. The only thing that will probably stop you from 100% completion will be report. Because that's all just time based. Getting the gifts to the people and actually getting the report to trust it. But anyway. So on this map I suggest open the map and come do this like one by one. See you spawn in right there. There's a Vista over there. Go collect that Vista. Now, if you have done all this, some of this stuff before and you're actually looking for specific ones, then I would suggest, so if you come over and look at mine, for example, I have completed everything, but we need some of the cooking stuff. So let's go have a look at the cooking stuff. So the cooking stuff would be over there. Cooking, click cooking, and then actually bring you down to where it is. You can scroll there yourself, but just clicking there will take it straight to it. And then which one are you missing? So let's have a look in game. I am missing the Dawn Tree Sprout Cider. So we'll start with that one. So the name might be a little bit different. For example, it's not actually Dawn Tree Sprout Cider. It's Solar Tree Sprout Cider in the website. But what you can do if the name is really confusing, it's going to be very similar. And you can actually look at the picture and also in numerical order. So one, two, three, it's the third recipe that you need to do. So if you come to me in game, one, two, three, it's the third one I'm missing. And then you just click it. So let's go to the solar tree sprout side. You see it's in the Rethromus border. And I'll show you exactly where it is in game. So that's the tree over there. And then he has your map of here. You can scroll in and make this bigger if you want. So we come on over to the game. I'm going to kill these mobs real quick. And then Rethromus border is over here. I just teleport to Rethromus border up there. Come all the way down to where it shows you on the map. And there it is right there. We go collect this. And then what we do is we actually go back to Pridome. Once we've collected that. So there we go. We got our solar tree sprout. 
go back on over to Pride Home and in each zone where you're at you just go back to where the chef is. It will normally show you on the thing as well, on the max roll. Let's have a look over there. Uh, at the beginning it'll actually show you the chef because the first zone is yeah, so you see the chef there in Pride Home. So you'll see where it is. So we are at the chef. And there we see you've got the ingredients. I crafted this earlier today. And then once you craft it, you claim it. And there you go. Now you just open your inventory and use it. And then it's actually added to my, and that actually adds 1%. So each of these cooking things adds a whole percent pretty much. Really good. So do the cooking stuff, do the vistas, and then the dungeons as well. But when you do the dungeons, make sure they actually have it up on the max roll guide, the dungeon map open. So let me show you guys again with that. So right at the top of this, I'll link this down in the description below, but right at the top with the map, just click over here and then you go Toxic Law Cavern Dungeon. And you see it'll show you all this important stuff over here. And then you go to the next dungeon. See, there's actually quite a few things there because you got to pull the lever there to enter actually going into this pot over there. And it does have a few things. It's got two Makoko seeds. It's got one of the beasts that you need and it has got something over there. I believe that's probably a collectible. Open up these all the time and have them open while you're going through the dungeon because there's a lot of stuff that you might miss on accident. Clear all monsters in the area first and then that probably unlocks like a little area where you can actually go to. So just follow this through on the maps like that. Really easy. And also another thing with the dungeons, you do need to do them on hard mode and easy mode. So you might have, one, once you have actually gone through the story, you have completed these dungeons because they were apart. I think this one was optional, but these two you must have done while progressing through the story. So whatever difficulty you did it on, just do it on the other difficulty this time around. Now completing your terms. If you did it on hard, go back and do it on normal. And yeah, follow the little max roll and actually collect all the Makoko seeds and everything in there. And then the monsters of here, there's 15 of them. They are numerical according to the, the guide over on max roll. So number one would be top left over there and 15 would be bottom over there. So you just go through the monsters. We can actually go have a look at that real quick. So see up at the map legend again, you just go unique monsters and I'll bring you right down. There's actually two locations for this first one and see it just, it's not named. It has one top left and then 15 bottom right. And then I'll show you this is actually just in one place of here. So right over there and you can actually just scroll through all of this and then you see really easy. That one's in Log Hill. There's two locations for it at the bottom and at the top over there. Really easy. Just kill those. Those you just need to kill one time to track them into your little thing over there. Just kill them once and then that's it. And then at the same time, actually killing those, most of the time will give you some of these collectible things. And going around the zone and just killing all stuff will actually give you a lot of these collectibles. So you want to complete all of the stuff. And then collectibles you do at the very last. Once you've completed everything else, this is the world boss, by the way. In the max roll guide, I'll show you exactly where it spawns. And then normally the lower rank world bosses takes about half an hour to respawn. And then the higher up ones, once you get to later tiers and stuff actually take two hours on a respawn timer of like two hours but you could individually search them online and it'll just give you all the information you need right there so yeah that's how you do that do the monsters do the boss do the vistas all the dungeons the collectibles the cooking and then another story over here on the side this is a really easy one let me show you how these actually work so they will be up on the map as well and then all you have to do is come on over to the little specific spot where it tells you to click so there is one in Pride Home right up there in the church. I'll show you guys over here. We'll run towards it. And then what it is, it's like a little note that you pretty much got to click and read. You have probably done quite a few of them while actually playing through the game yourself. And those just count as little stories. So this one is a little bit tricky to actually get to it because you kind of got to really position yourself well. So just like waddle around here. And as you see, once you waddle through, there's like an investigator. So press G. Then you investigate it and bam, a hidden past of a root. Now actually complete the hidden story of there, a hidden past of a root. So you got to complete all of those as well. And then these two story quests over here. These are actual quests. These are just little things you have to pick up and read like that. And then these two are actual physical quests that you need to do. All of these giving you like, uh, you see that charisma, courage, wisdom, kindness. Very good to pull up your virtue stats, which you will then need to actually complete the report. And the tripods as well, you just need to go and pick up the tripods for the first time. So which you would most likely have done while you were leveling. And that's all there really is to it. So you want to complete these out. So in that order, um, I would actually suggest monsters, vistas, dungeons, and then cooking. But all of this stuff have like a map open on the max roll guide. So for example, we'll scroll to the top of this one one last time. You want to have the pride home map open and you do, do everything of it. So there's the little hidden stories you can see. There's the vista. Collect the Makokos if you want as well. There's a little thing over there you need to actually I'll show you there. Number one, that's the first dish buy from that thing over there. So the general vendor over there, you buy it from there. 
Anaria and Sierra, these are the two that you need for reports. You want to actually level those up. If you have gifts, give them to them. Play them songs, all that good stuff. And then number seven over there, that little thing is actually a trusted stage reward that you get from Sierra. There's a little quest, the check in depth guide. So what you do is you just come to another store and you click that. And then we'll actually show you song for here. It'll show you exactly. See, there it is right there. It's a quest from her. Song for here starts by accepting the quest from Sierra and then they tell you that the quest you need from the prerequisite is completing the tablet of revelation from Rezermus. So real easy and you can actually go to the other one over there as well, speak to that woman and follow the... So pretty much just go through each zone like that one by one, following each little thing, tick it off. And then if you are missing specific ones, just come to the first zone and get the ones that you have not got yet. And if you have all of them for some reason in this zone, just go to the next one, Log Hill. If you Log Hill there, you can actually play the song to get through to those Makokos. Kill monsters nearby for hidden jump. So you, once you kill a bunch of monsters, it'll actually give you a little G in, uh, jumping. There's Ben, the wandering merchant. And there's a lot of stuff over here. Craft this at the chef. So you probably need to pick something up over there and then you go back and craft at the chef. So just, like I said, open these all up, go through each of them, complete them all. And in no time, you'll have your report. Like this afternoon, this one, I, before I started the video, this was at 30. And then when I was just like running around doing stuff to actually figure it out, uh, it's at 60 already. So I think we'll probably end this at about 90% with the report being the only thing that we need before we can get 100%. Come over to collectibles real quick. We go over to Ignea tokens, view rewards. Look at all that stuff you get there with the Mount the Golden Tepelium or Terpion being the like rarest mount in the game. I doubt anybody has this right now because it's literally going to take a few months to get to that point. Not even the whales had this right now. So start working on it and be one of the first few to have this mount. I hope this guide helped you guys. And if it did, drop a sub and a like. I really appreciate all the help. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Augie San out. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the